I guess we could, you want it with that? You want to go to the, uh, the Wade concept drama to pull up the tweets. I mean, if you guys already seen the tweets, I'm sure I don't need to refresh your memory. Case, I came after the, out after the fact, excuse me, and said that there was some stuff boiling under the surface as well. And let's see if he didn't delete those tweets. To you, it's an overreaction, but to me, it's a buildup of a lot of things behind the scenes. You can have a public opinion, but don't come to me on a switch up when you see me in person. Sorry for my outburst, but I'm human. I'm going to get angry sometimes. I just think I wouldn't watch it on stream. I wouldn't watch it on stream either. I, I think, see, with this whole Wade situation, it's it's tough because I think Wade is a genuine dude that I, I'd say goes against the opposite of, of what JJ is saying, where he doesn't switch up. If he had switched up, he would have just gone on with whatever JJ so you know, it'd be like, uh, oh yeah, you know, and honestly, I also personally disagree. I think a JJ and Jake fight would, if properly built up, would shatter some records uh, for the influencer boxing scene. So I don't necessarily know that a Jake versus Mayweather fight would generate, just because of the, you think about like the casual fans that aren't as entrenched in the boxing world they'd probably tune in to see Jake versus it's one of those things with like the UFC and Connor, you know, like sure. Mayweather's one of the greats, but you're not accounting when you take in. And I didn't watch Wade's full video on this. So maybe he addresses this and counters it, but I just feel like that Jake and KSI fight would get so many more wide fans out there to come in and watch it. I just think that would be an absolute mega fight. Uh, it's been building for a while. I think he said a Tommy rematch would do better. I personally don't think so. He said a fight with Mayweather would do better, maybe. Uh, but Jake is, you know, I, I don't know, man. I think I just think that, that Jake KSI would be the fight to make, not right now, but some point down the line. But that's kind of where this is all headed. That's where I get the feeling that this is all going. And this is what the fans have wanted to see for a while. But for KSI to come out and to absolutely, and there's, I think he, he didn't delete. This is also the the schedule. We could go over that in a second the schedule for who he's fighting this year. But to overreact like that on an opinion is, is, is quite frankly silly. And we don't know what Wade has said to him in private, but Wade doesn't seem like the guy, like, you know, there's a difference between being real with people and being combative. I think what KSI expects from Wade is if Wade has a difference of opinion with him to come up and to be extremely extremely kind of like, you know, uh, like Wade just seems like a good dude. I don't think Wade's hurting anyone's feelings. Wade's not trying to start beefs. He's just talking about the sport he's passionate about. And I put myself in his situation. If I had his platform, I'll think about the work that I do with my local promotion. I'll talk about the fighters on commentary. And if they're doing a certain thing incorrectly, or I notice that for instance, I've had uh, fighters come up to me and say, give me a little bit more love about this. Give me a little bit more love about that. And I'll always go back and look at what I, I've said. Um, so, for instance, one dude wasn't checking leg kicks. Uh, and I said over the course of the fight, he wasn't checking leg kicks. And most guys would come up to me and say, oh, yeah, I thank you for your 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 commentary on the fight. It was good. You know, and, and I'll definitely be doing that next time. Some of the guys will say, uh, oh, yeah, like, what are you saying about that? But it, it's kind of. I'm trying to think of a way to describe this. I don't go up to those fighters and and be an asshole. I'll, I'll just be real with them. You know, I'll say, listen, that's what I saw in the fight. Uh, I don't think you're a bad fighter, but that's just what I was. That's my observation. That's my opinion on the fight. That's why I get paid to commentate. That's why I get paid to talk about it. Uh, Wade was doing the same thing. And so I don't understand why KSI got so angry he said it was a buildup. Again, we don't know what happened behind the scenes. I guess this video will illustrate a little bit more. I have to grab my headphones here uh, so we could check this out. But I did feel as though it was a huge overreaction by both KSI and Mams Taylor. And it just, it, it was a kind of a bad look for the entire Misfits boxing scene because Wade is a loved figure. You know, Wade is, is the dude I've never, this is the first real drama I've seen him kind of get into. If I'm remembering correctly, I, I mean, maybe there was something else, but, and it wasn't even something he had, uh, you know, my point is he's not coming out and shitting on fighters. And I don't think anyone should ever shit on fighters when they're making commentary on the scene. But the, the, the overreaction was just phew, off the roof, but let me just hold on. Let me put Zane, was this the, uh, 
This is this is the video you're talking about, right? If it's not, we'll uh we'll just rip it anyways. So here's KSI on the situation with Wade. I'm a, I'm allowed to not like you're his opinion. To disagree with- Hold on one second. That's way too loud. Jesus Christ. I'm a, I'm allowed to not like You're his opinion. You're allowed to disagree with his opinion. Yeah. 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 So yeah. with, yeah. with his opinion yeah. on the tag team. Stop uh, flinging your hand at me. Sorry, sorry. Talking. So with, the reason why I was like he's, he's two-faced is because behind the scenes, he's there like this tag team idea. Brilliant. I love it. Mm-hmm. And then online, he's there like, mm, not sure about this. Don't think this is a good idea. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bro. You want me that you're saying you like it to me in private and publicly you're saying what the public want to hear. Mm. So with Wade, he just wants to constantly... Be on everyone's good side, as a journalist would. Side. Yeah, Which is, is, yeah. he's got to play the game. That is his he's job role and his, yeah, entire, yeah, his yeah. whole thing. Well, is I that. guess, obviously, that's going to rob me the wrong way. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But the public so don't have yeah. that full story. I'm, a, I'm allowed to... Okay, I, yeah, see, that's, I, don't, I don't think that's a really viable reason or an excuse to blow up in the fashion that KSI did. Doesn't make Wade a two-faced uh, C word. I can't say that or else I'm going to get nuked off of this platform. I don't think that makes Wade two-faced. You know? Yeah, is it a little bit odd? If he did do that, we're just going to take KSI at face value. Is it a little bit odd? Is it a little bit slimy? I guess, right? I thought that Misfits had, it was a multifaceted idea. So I said this on video, I thought it was cool that they're experimenting with new things, but I thought that it didn't really add a whole ton of, of content to the Misfits boxing scene. And let me know if you guys disagree in the comments. But I thought that it kind of just, it was an addition to, to add to that kind of circus aspect of influencer boxing. Besides that, though, there was not a real impact that you could have by saying, okay, these guys, your two favorite influencers are going on in the tag team not only that, but all Wade said in public was the tag team was a safety hazard and needed to see how it goes. Right, And that's what I'm trying to say, Balloons, is it seems like Wade was more so in favor of the idea, but there are so, like you can have a multifaceted opinion. I think the one beneath that is a bit longer. Let me see. 45 seconds, minute one. All right, that's we can go over that in a second. Sorry about that, boys. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, if there are any ladies in the, uh, in the, the chat here. But... I do think that it, it was a, a gross overreaction by KSI. Gross. And we'll watch this in a second. But Wade has been consistently, and I've watched his stuff, obviously, people that have heard me talk, like they know, you know, he's a big inspiration for me and just how he does things and, and how he edits his video. I don't know if he has, he probably does have an editor. But yeah, just the way that he consistently holds himself to a standard is, is very nice to see. And so I find it very hard to believe that it's that cut and dry, that it's that black and white, where Wade would say one thing like that and then come at, you know, I'm sure it was a different variation where Wade came to KSI and said, I love that you're innovating like this. You know, I love that you're trying to push the scene forward. <clears throat> and KSI took it as, as him saying he loved the idea, right? Two things can be true at once. And I tend to agree with Wade. I thought it could be, it could have its issues, but the idea is there, right? The idea for innovation is what I enjoyed personally about it. But let's get into this next video. Wade is obviously allowed to have his opinion on anything. Right, we gotta- you know, it's a free society. You can say whatever you want, do whatever you want. That's cool. But I'm okay. I'm allowed to hate on it as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm allowed to not like You're his opinion. You're allowed to disagree with his opinion. Yeah. 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 So, so when, with his stuff, opinion yeah. on the tag team... Sorry, stop uh, flinging your hand at me. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. You, you like it to me in private, and publicly you're saying what yeah, the public go. want to hear. Mm. So with Wade, he just wants to constantly... Be on everyone's good side, as a journalist would. Side. Yeah, Which he, is, he, yeah. He's, he's got to play the game. That is his he's job role and his, yeah, entire, yeah, his yeah. whole thing. But is I that. guess, obviously, that's going to rob me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But the so public don't have yeah. that full story. So they're seeing him put out this little clip, and yeah, then they're seeing yeah. you bug out over this little clip, and yeah, they're thinking, yeah. and it this is a massive overreaction. I did bug out, and I do apologize. That was bad. It could have been simple, like, like, fuck this guy. He was like, fuck your old character. You could have bugged out to him directly, and been like, I don't agree with oh, yeah, this. I don't, I don't rate this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the whole that, world yeah, didn't have yeah, to see yeah, it. And that's get why I decided to leave that. And I've messaged Wade and I've said, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. 
Um, my, well, I can actually, you said, I'll, like, I'll you say exactly said what I said. I think said. what you've done is ass. Yeah. And then and then just, and just to say that pri- privately. Say, I think what you've done is ass, man. So I, I put, I've told the man about uh, him on firing you. I think that was a bit far. My outburst was on call for, so my bad. I'm sorry for the tweets. However, I just don't feel comfortable talking to you, fam. We can be civil publicly. But your comments just robbed me the wrong way, just like Kavos does or other people. Uh, you can have your opinions, go crazy, but it don't mean I have to like them. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. of course. That's fine. Right. So- uh, I don't know, dude. I mean, it certainly takes a big man to <clears throat> understand where he went wrong and try to rectify his mistakes. And I think that's a, a good aspect of KSI's personality. I'm also checking chat on my phone here. Uh, that's a good aspect of KSI's personality that he has, but at the same time, definitely an overreaction. Definitely, but we're probably never going to know what exactly was said, obviously because it took place in person when we would see him, but I wouldn't even call it being two-faced. When Wade was looking for a job in the first social gloves, Fousey, the man he was trying to get a job from, asked if he could box. Wade just openly said to Fousey Face that he was not a good boxer despite trying to get a job. Yeah, so he's, he, I, 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 again, he strikes me as an honest dude, man. But we're never going to know what was actually said, unfortunately, in this situation. He's very open with his past, too. I saw in one of his videos, he said he had a past in, he had a, like a, a career that he wanted to pursue in, in wrestling. Like actually, you know, professional wrestling, WWE type stuff, and that, that didn't pan out. And then he's had other YouTube channels that didn't pan out. So yeah, I mean, it could be that, I think there's also a difference between being like switching up and just being cool with everyone. And that is a, a line you have to ride. You, you kind of have to, you can't be a, a people pleaser because by, I feel as though by definition, when people pleasing, you're going to have to switch up at some point. Does that make any sense guys? I mean, what I like, I, I hope, hold on, let me put this to uh, just talking. I hope that makes sense. What I'm saying, Right. Because you're giving everyone exactly what they want. And it, so at some point, if there's a conflict of interest between two people, you know. But I do think that there is another way to do so. And that is just being a genuine person. And so I I really can't go against Wade. Major Alpha KSI, regardless, dude, also compared to Kavos, who also does nothing but just report on the news. Also, Kavos is pretty slimy, dude. He's, uh, he, he's such a, uh, I don't like Kavos at all. So one of those guys that predicates his content around negativity. I just can't. I don't like dudes like that. They like report on the news, but it's like, oh, I hope this guy loses his platform. Like that's K. K uh, Kavos would say that about KSI. Kavos be like, I hope he loses. I hate KSI. I hope he loses his platform. It's like v- hate veiled under commentary, which I've been accused of before <laughs> on the on the uh, the what's it called video, the salt poppy video. Pull up some of the comments on that. Because I got some. 